Hi, uh, my name's Kevin Hicks. Welcome to my history channel. And this is one of those random history films that we're doing. And it was sparked off because of uh, Frederick Schwartz, yeah, one of our subscribers. Hey, thanks, Frederick. Um, it relates to a film we'd done previously, uh, The Funeral of Queen Victoria, and the little girl who was in it had, uh, she thought it ponged. Well, that little girl, uh, Beatrice Seymour, was a lady that I rescued. And this is kind of her story because it relates to World War I as well. But anyway, how I rescued Beatrice Seymour. We've been called to a house. Somebody's inside, they think she's dead. We break in, that's me and uh, Police Constable Peter John from South Wales. And uh, I go in, unlock the back door, let him in and we go through. And as we push open the living room door, we realize the corpse is actually lying against it. That's Beatrice, yeah? And I slipped in, the door slams, I'm in there on my own. And PC Peter John says, move the body. I didn't want to, but I had to. So I checked and I'm telling you, she was dead, right? I kneel down, get a hold of the collars here and I pull the body back and the head's like that. And as I pulled it, the head came forward and touched me nose to nose. I froze, her eyes flicked open. I looked into the eyes of a dead person who suddenly said, who are you, what are you doing? I just reacted and flung the body across the room. When the doctor arrived and then the ambulance, they took Beatrice away. The doctor called me a clumsy oaf and said that she was in the process of actually dying. She did have hypothermia when some clumsy clot had woken her up. Well, I felt responsible. She lived on her own, she was very frail, and she was in her 90s. So I made it my business to visit when I could. And uh, many a cake and cup of tea was consumed with Beatrice and I. And one time I asked her the question, why didn't you ever marry Beatrice? You love my kids, you know, you'd been made a lovely mother. She said, almost devilishly, she said, I've known men. She said, I was engaged to a fella, but he was killed at the Battle of Luz, 1915. Same year, my brother was wounded. He died of his wounds later on. She said, but I had another fella, another chap. We wouldn't get engaged, wouldn't get married until the war was over. But he was killed in August 1918. You see, Kevin, the reason I didn't marry was when the chaps came back from the war to our village, only the married ones came back. And that's as it should be, because I had families. So if you want to know the truth, Kevin, the reason I didn't marry, there wasn't anybody to marry in my village. How humble I felt. That lovely lady spent the rest of her life simply as a spinster. I've never forgotten Beatrice. When she passed away, I went to a funeral and she lies with her brother at the back of the church in Gerrard's Cross in Buckinghamshire. So, you enjoyed it? Thumbs up. Subscribers, hey, thanks. If you're not a subscriber, then subscribe. Ding that bell, because we've got lots of films to make. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.